Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic uh, and Best Car Fixes. We have here Dash Caravan 2010. Uh, I just want to give you some information about where is the location of the computer and what is, and how the connector are look or how we're gonna uh, give them the names. This is a computer for this car. It have four connectors. This one, the first connector we take it is connector number one, C1. And the second one is C2. The C2 is orange. The C1 is black. And then if you notice the other one, which is uh, the C3, the C3 is supposed to be like uh, white. And the C4 is green connector. Please, just look at it. This, this uh, illustration is for all Jeep. Uh, Grand Cherokee, Nissan, I mean Jeep, uh, Chrysler, Dodge. With those kind of computers, four plug or three plug. Always the connector that is the far, you see the, look at the distance. If the distance is here bigger, the first one on the right side here, this is, or just say the black connector is one. The orange is two, white is green. If I take this one out, or I don't want to take, but if you take it out, you're going to see here is white. And then the next one, you're going to see a green side. That number four. The green is four, black is one, here one. Now, in five volt reference are two. This is one wire for five volt reference, you see? Connected 27, pin, pin number 27. If this is 20, 27, let me show you. The, the yellow and pink, that's connected 27. Look at it here. See here? This is pin 27. And then this is 28. And this is 29. I thought that is this one, but it was not. So just pink, uh, yellow and pink is 5 volt reference. And this 5 volt reference is feeding throttle body, accelerator pedal position sensor, crankshaft sensor. If you have 5 volt reference dead on this car, or a code for 5 volt reference, there is two 5 volt references. One is from connector 1, pin number 27, which is this. The second one is from connector 2, the orange connector, pin number 29, which is this one, and this one feeding transmission, map sensor, EGR, camshaft sensor. If you have any voltage drop, try to disconnect those four connectors. Transmission, EGR, MAP, camshaft, I believe. So those are the one that, and it's coming out from here, five volt reference. I cut it here because I was not sure uh, what happened, or I shouldn't cut it, but I was trying to look for the location where in diagram, is that true or not? But this is, uh, it, it will help you in the future if you are going to work on this car. This car have a limp, the car will not crank, if cranking, but it will not start right away. The reason why, because the five volt reference that leaving this place and going to camshaft sensor is dead. When we disconnect the camshaft sensor, still we have ground instead of five volt with ignition on. Again, we disconnect the map, still. We disconnect the EGR, still we have the same uh, ground. We disconnect the transmission control module, the the the, co the the ground gone, and we're getting a code for linear pressure sensor inside the transmission solenoid pack. Right away we know that the car have transmission problem, transmission solenoid have a short, the customer have to look for a transmission or anything which is there. If you see, you cannot see it from here, but you see that way I cut it, that way here, that way. I cut it because if I put it back, I will not be able to start the car correctly or the car will go into limb mode. I'm going to tape all this and take it, put everything back and hopefully the problem is going to be okay after we fix the transmission. This is a quick information. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. The engine is there. All the stuff is there. That's it. Thanks.